it's getting hot out there. So bring me all your homes. I will get them staged and sell them for more than asking. Okay. All right. I know I'm a little bit of a goofy person sometimes, but legitimately, we need some inventory. We have very little to offer these buyers and it is an active market out there. And I make sure that I have fun still, but it is very serious. There's a lot going on. We've got multiple offers. We've got subject free. Sorry to say it again. It's still a very active market out there. So like I said, if you have something to sell, it's a good time to sell. If you're buying right now, it's a challenge. I'm not gonna lie. So uh, if you have any questions more about the active market right now, don't hesitate to reach out. I have a market update for you too. So here are some numbers. Um, so detached homes are at an average price of 1.1 million. Townhomes are at an average of 580,000. Apartments at 439,000 for the month of January. Now I'm gonna give you the year over year stats. So that means January of 2020 to January of 2021 we saw this percentage increase in prices by average in the Fraser Valley. So um, detached homes went up approximately 15.2%, townhomes went up 7.2%, and apartments went up 4.4%. So um, there wasn't much of an increase in um, December to January when it comes to apartments and townhomes. It was like point something percent that the prices went up. But when we consider detached single family, the hottest uh, area of our market right now, we saw them go up 2.5% from December to January. And I can honestly say a lot of these stats don't even include what we've seen in the past week. Um, I won in multiples two days ago and I lost in multiples last night. So some things are going for 25,000 over asking and some are going for 250 apparently over asking. I haven't seen that yet myself. Um, so please let me know if you have a property you would like me to help you get ready for this market. Even though it's a crazy market, it still will help you to shine above the rest with some home staging, some new paint, um, and you don't have to do it either, but it is always nice to get the most you can for your home and this is that time. Uh, reach out to me if you have any more questions, please, and thank you for watching. Here's the iPhone tip. Hi guys, here's another iPhone trick. Here's how to never have to type in your email again. This is a keyboard shortcut. You're gonna go into your settings. Within settings, you're gonna go into general right there. You click it and you're gonna scroll down to keyboard right there. Click on keyboard and you're going to go to text replacement. Slide on into there. And this is some of the ones that I have saved. You're going to click the plus sign, plus. What you're going to type in is your email where the indicator is blinking. You're going to click in your email, type in your email and the shortcut that you want. So for instance, my email, I've actually done this already so it might not do it again. Um, my email is typed in there. What I'm gonna put in here is QQ or QQ, yeah. So every time I type in QQ, my email will insert. So I click save and now it's in there. So give it a shot and you'll never have to type in your email again. You can also program it to say on my way. So instead of it being like the abbreviation, back. So I have it, different ones you can see there. So love, I have like a goodbye love message that automatically sends, that sounds so bad, but I do. <laughs> and uh, there's a ton. So you can program any keyboard shortcuts for yourself. Happy iPhoning. You're welcome.